Hi guys, I had to get this video out because it is from a sale that happened yesterday, so might as well. Um, I was already in the middle of filming this, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the item that I, the video cut off on, and that was Bonfire Bash. I've actually never had Bonfire Bash, and this is, everything I got was in the minis because the sale was the $2.95 for smalls and sanitizer. That's what's on the receipt at least. This is so good, guys. I sprayed it off screen. Um, okay. So this is really good. It has a smoky vanilla, like, okay, if warm vanilla sugar was smoky, like, but not really smoky, like, yeah. A light smoke, a lot of vanilla, warm, warm vanilla sugar. But it's really good, it is. I don't, I, I don't know if I would wear this during the day. I know that sounds weird, but I'm not really sure I would. I do like it though. And this is a scent that I know has been out forever. But the last time I smelled it, I wanna say it was in the square containers. Do you guys remember those when the, the containers were square briefly? I wanna say like 2017-ish. And I remember thinking like, this is too sugary, I don't like it. So now I do like it, but it's definitely not an all day every day situation. Let me grab these. So the next thing I have is Sunrise Woods, and this is in a hand lotion. I was just smelling this stuff for the first time, but this is technically my second time now that I filmed this. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this on my hands because why not? Okay, so here's my problem with some of their hand lotions is that I always put my hand lotion on like that. I, I don't know. Okay, it's good. And if it was on sale, I'm talking 75% off, I would purchase it again. It kind of smells light, 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 lightly like Twilight Woods. And I kind of had the, I don't know if I made this up in my head because of the names, but when I saw Sunrise Woods come out during fall, my favorite fall scent from Bath and Body Works is Twilight Woods. So, you know, I just kind of thought it was really interesting. But now that I smell it, <laughs> I'm like, am I making up that this smells like Twilight Woods in a lighter form? Am I? I don't know. So here's the thing. I picked this up in a hand cream because I didn't really want a lotion. Um, you guys know I'm bad at going through lotions. I'm more likely to go through a hand cream, especially in the fall. So this hand cream hopefully will only last me through September. I don't like carrying hand creams for like the entire eternity forever. So hopefully this will just be through September. Um, but if, okay, let's put it this way. I know Twilight Woods is a retired scent. So I would 100% repurchase this 75% off if I could because retired scents typically don't go 75% off. And that would be my way of angling around that. Does that make sense? So typically I can tell you that I would not repurchase this because it smells like something else I like. But the something else I like never goes on sale. I mean, rarely. Okay, the next thing I have, I'm not gonna spray, but that's because I know I love it. <laughs> also, I'm currently using the hand sanitizer, but this is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Why did I forget the name? I'm staring right at it. This is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I can also twist the top off, so just good. Just the most, I know a lot of people would think this is not edible, especially since they came out with pumpkin cupcake this year. They came out with blueberry waffles, and pumpkin pecan waffles. So this was our edible option before those. <laughs> um, but now there's a lot of people say this does not smell edible to them. To me, this is as edible as it's going to get. I don't want to, I don't mind a gourmand, but like don't want to smell like a fresh stack of pancakes. It's not, <laughs> not life goals for me. So yeah, this is going to be my gourmandish type scent for fall. The next thing I have is a conditioner by by a thousand wishes with a thousand wishes. I really do. It's a thousand wishes is really starting to grow on me. But I realized that my scalp is really sensitive recently, and I cannot use the shampoos. I can't. So I have to use the conditioners, and hopefully I can use these because all I ever wanted was Bath and Body Works to constantly come out with new types of products in the sense that I love. Right? They do that. They do that again. They have done this in the past, but they do that again in hair care. And what, lo and behold, my scalp is sensitive and I can't use the shampoo. So the next thing I have is Happy Halloween. It's vampire blood and it is black with holographic. Um, is that a label? Yeah. Black with holographic designs on the label. 
it smells like strawberries and I think that's one of the major scent notes. So very like generic berry scent. I would never purchase anything that's like generic berry scent to me. There's too many people people that make that. Um, so I personally wouldn't purchase this in a large size. I don't even think it's not a large size. What am I saying? Did it? I don't think it did. But I think this would be a cute party favor for a Halloween party. Yeah. But I purchased it to give it a try. Maybe maybe the scent will envelop me in the shower and I'll like love it forever, you know? <laughs> so the next thing I have is fairy tale. And I did do first sniffs in the first video I filmed. But this is really good. From what I can tell, that I'm very eager to give this a try in my shower tonight. So I really, really want to do that because it smells like it would smell very, very good. I love the design. I think a lot of people gave the design an A-OK. -okay. Um, this color is so pretty. Like, could you imagine that as a nail color or like a wall color? It's really, really pretty, pretty color. It's this color too. So yeah, I think fairy tale is gonna be a favorite of mine. And I gotta go online today to do the to look at the buy to get to. So I would love to see. I would love to see <laughs> what else they have in this. I don't think it's moisturizing body wash, but I would love to see it. The next few things I have. One, I'm gonna go ahead and spray on on this arm <laughs> actually no i think i'll spray it on the back of this arm this is sweet whiskey and i think the packaging confused me because i've smelled sweet whiskey in the store before and i wasn't in love with it so to find it now in a mini uh, i'm gonna use it but i'm not sure i'm gonna love it so i'm gonna give that a try right now and i said in the first video but i don't have any of the notes because the miniatures don't have notes i wonder if there was a way to maybe I don't know, somewhere on here, have that information and take away the other information. But now that I look at it, all the information is very much needed on the back of this. So there's not much room. Yeah. Okay, well, they try. Okay. Yeah, sweet whiskey is interesting. I can smell that. Can I smell the alcohol? Or is it because I didn't wait <laughs> after I sprayed it? Okay. I like sweet whiskey. It just kind of falls in line with these like deeper scents that they have. And I don't think I need very many of them, but thankfully these are only 2.5 ounces and I can fly through those. I know that, but in the future, I probably wouldn't repurchase either, neither sweet whiskey or bonfire bash, um, possibly bonfire bash over sweet whiskey, but yeah, like they're both very deep scents for the fall, if that makes any sense. Deep scents with like a slight sweetness. Um, so yeah, they they're very similar. Um, yeah, Bonfire Bash is a hundred percent sweeter though. Keep that in mind. So the next thing I have is Raspberry Chiffon, and that is also new. So I really, really wanted to give this a try. This is the one that I had to ask about. Um, and I think it's just so cute. I think whoever did the packaging for this line, love this. This is so cute. And it's not even a matter of the new bottles. It's actually the design and the packaging. Okay, let's give that a try. Oops, sprayed the wrong, I sprayed that the wrong way. Okay, let that breathe. Let that breathe. So it's called Raspberry Chiffon. So if I had to guess what it smelled like, it'd be raspberries and pink chiffon. Anybody else thinking that? Okay. You know what I get from this? I get the raspberry from raspberry mimosa, but like heavy. Honestly, this could possibly be raspberry mimosa in a... It has something else in there. It's raspberry and not fizzy, but... It smells like the raspberry mimosa candle with one other note in it. I can't put my finger on it, but it smells just like that. This is actually, um, surprisingly, it is a fall scent. Like, I would describe it like that. You smell like, this to me smells like dessert. But again, I have a low tolerance for sugary scents. It does have a sweetness to it that comes up at the end. But yeah, these are all really good. Um, yeah, that was a, to me, that's a pretty big haul, even though they're tiny. <laughs> I'm gonna show you these. <laughs> My tiny big haul. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get a haul for buy two get two. I won't be able to get there in person. I don't think. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. Have a great day.